guys this is Swiss welcome back to another video today I'm gonna to show you something really cool this is the Vroid studio tool that some of you might be familiar with it is actually a tool that allows me to create a simple and free VRM avatar that I can deploy inside Hyperfy the metaverse that I've been recently making videos about and the VRM standard for avatars is actually spreading through the ecosystem. More and more platforms allow you to use VRM avatars across different metaverses. So it's kind of cool to have a look at this tool. And I've just installed it for free by downloading it online. And if we switch over to the actual entry screen, you will see something like this here where you have a couple of sample models. But I'm just going to go right ahead and create a brand new avatar. Uh, on this screen, I'll select the masculine avatar. And as you can see, in a couple of seconds, we will have a preset selection of different kind of body parts where we do have a quick possibility to completely change the character of this avatar. And in order to better see that, I will use my mouse and I'm going to use the right button on the mouse to rotate the avatar. And now with the scroll wheel on the mouse, I'm going to zoom in to get a better look at the face. And now if I select a different preset here on the left, like so, it will completely alter the character of the avatar because the selection of the various components of the head really makes such a big difference. Now you have quite a few options that you can look into here and you have a lot of possibilities to adjust each single setting here on the right and let me quickly switch over to the body as on the top toolbar you actually have the possibilities to make major adjustments to the body which has quite a big impact on how the avatar is going to look like so for example if we zoom out a little bit you can see that the avatar is currently 176 centimeters tall. And if we would just say, hey, why don't we reduce the height to something like this? And why don't we reduce the leg length to something like this? Increase the foot size. Yeah, the, let's not overdo it want the avatar to look good as you can see we can really play around with these options to create a unique avatar and if we continue to the outfit let's say and i want to why don't we choose something suitable for this body type as you can see <laughs> we actually have something really fun looking already and Let's just change the hairstyle to something more fun. All right, I think this is something we could already deploy in the metaverse just for the fun of it. There are many more options in this software tool, but I'm relatively new to it, so I'm not really great at customizing any of it just yet. But if you guys want to experiment with it and share some of, your, some of the results you get, I would be really keen to see what you can come up with. Let's just go ahead and export this for now. You have an option here in the top right corner to export your avatar. And I'm going to just export it as VRM as we agreed in the beginning. It's going to take a little moment for the software tool to start exporting. And this is actually something that I haven't done before, but apparently you can actually optimize the avatar to be less resource intensive. And uh, while I would love to play around with this after this tutorial, for now I'm just going to export it like that. And I know that Hyperfy is going to complain a little bit because it is a little bit too heavy, but it does work really well anyways. So why not just go ahead and export it? In order to do so, I will quickly name the avatar Experiment 2. And the creator is me. And I'm not going to define any of the other details, but you could. And let's just export it right away to the desktop. And as the next step, I'm going to take that freshly created avatar and I'm going to drag and drop it into Hyperfy to make it work. So let's see, here is the experiment number two. 
let's open up the Hyperfy world and I had played around with a avatar before creating the video so I have a really strange looking one in the world but let's just drop in the experiment 2 avatar we've just created and see what happens okay as you can see it's considered to be unoptimized but we can actually equip it and it does look pretty cute let's wait and boom guys look at this Does this look like an avatar that we just created? I mean, it does look really hyper strange with these large hands, but I kind of like it. It's kind of different. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Do subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this topic, if you enjoy to learn about the metaverse, and if you like the cryptoverse. I'm publishing videos on the regular, and do hit the, do hit the like button to help me make this video more visible to the community. Take it easy. I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.